Hello everyone, in this video we are going to see all about Spark Partition. Partition is splitting the data into multiple partition to execute the transformation on multiple partition in parallel which allows computing the jobs faster. Let's see in detail what this statement means. Partition is the basic unit of Spark computation. It is a subset of a data frame. Transformation performed on data on a particular partition is called task. Each task will take place in one Spark core. By default, the number of partition is equal to the number of cores. Data in each partition reside on a single machine. Let's see a visual representation of partition. Let's take a data frame which has 12 rows. As I mentioned earlier, partition is a subset of a data frame. These 12 rows are getting partitioned into 4 partitions, each partition having 3 rows. Now, if you are performing a task on each partition, each task will take place in one Spark core. In our example, we have taken two executors, each having two cores. Now, let's see some of the key terminologies that we use when dealing with the partition. The first terminology is data shuffle. Data shuffle is nothing but moving the data from one partition to another partition. Next, let's see what is data skewness. Data skewness occurs when the distribution of data across the partition is uneven, leading to some partition having larger data size than others. If you see this example, in the first diagram, data is evenly distributed across all the partitions. Whereas, in the second example, distribution of data across the partition is uneven. In this example, the data is skewed. Now, let's see the different types of partition. Partition can be classified into two, partition in memory and partition on the disk. To perform partition in memory, we use repartition or coalesce transformation. To perform partition on disk, we use partition by function. We will see practical examples of all the partition types. Now let's see what is partition by function. Partition by function is to partition based on one or more column values while writing the data frame to a disk. Let's take this data frame which has 12 records, which has the column, first name, age, department and salary. This data has two departments, IT and finance. While passing department to partition by function, we get the partition based on department. Let's see the practical implementation of the partition by function. I have imported my Spark session and declared my data to a variable called dataset. And here I have declared my column names and creating a data frame called the employee DF for this dataset. I am printing the data frame using the show command. Here, I am writing this data frame to a CSV file by partitioning based on department. Let me run this. My employee folder got created. Inside this, there are two subfolders, department IT and department finance. Inside each subfolder, there are multiple part files because Spark again partitions based on each department. If you open a particular part file, it has department finance related information. Now let's see what is a coalesce function. The coalesce function is used to reduce the number of partitions. It avoids the shuffle and try to merge the partition in a single machine. Because of this, the partition might be of uneven size which leads to data being skewed. Let's take an example of this data frame which has three departments. When we use coalesce of two, which is two partitions, we get the data partitioned into two. But the order of the data is same as what is there in the source because coalesce function avoids data shuffle. Coalesce function might lead to uneven size partition. If you see here, partition one is slightly bigger than partition 2. Let's see a practical implementation of the coals function. Here is my data set which has three different departments. 
and I have created a data frame for this data set. Using show function, I have displayed the data frame. Using quals function, I am going to partition this data set into two and I am going to save this in a folder called emp in csv format. Let me run this. My emp folder got created and if I get inside, there are two part files. Let me open the first part file. We see that coils maintains the order of the data that is in the original data frame. Because when we use coils function, it avoids data shuffle and try to merge the partition in the same machine. Similarly, when I open the part 2 file, it has the second part of the data from build to march in the same order. Repartition is to reduce or increase the number of partition. Because repartition fully shuffles the data over the network and redistributes the data evenly. Let's take an example of this data frame which has three departments. When we use repartitioning function with the argument as 2, that means that we are partitioning this data into two. The data will be partitioned into two different sets. If you closely look at this data, you can see that the data is fully shuffled from what is there in this data frame because repartition does full data shuffle and redistributes the data evenly. As a result, we got two different data set. Both the data set is of same size and the data is evenly distributed. We are taking the same example of the data set that is used to demonstrate the quals function. Here, instead of quals, I am using repartition as two and the data will be stored in CSV format in the folder emp1. Let me run this code. My employee1 folder got created and if you see here, there are two part files and when I see the data, we see that the data that is in the part file is fully shuffled when compared to our original data frame. That is because repartition does full data shuffle and evenly distributes the data across all the partition. I hope you got a fair idea of how the Spark partition works. And I'm sure that this video was very useful to you. If you do like this video, please consider subscribing and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.